Hi, I'm Taylor Jr. We're here backstage at Joseph Food. We're getting ready for the show. We're going to talk to the designer about his latest fall 2017 collection. There's nothing more beautiful than a Gothic church. And if you look at the ceiling and the amazing architecture, it really inspired the clothes. I build the collections around fabrics, and I always say that fabric tells me what to do. So I love, yeah, I love that. Last season it was all about linen and whites and deconstructed. The season before was all about um, dandyism and Savile Row. This is a little darker side of Joseph Abu. This is now about architecture and clothes, a little bit more casual, a little mysterious, a little romantic, and a little dark. Well, tell me how you came upon finding this location. Our producer, Jay, who is, is brilliant. We have an incredible team behind the show. You know, it's 15 minutes, but it takes six months to build it. So our team, our, our, our stylists, our creative people, our musicians, we have a live orchestra tonight, which is really great, which just adds to the level of dimension. And I always think it's like my clothes, they're multidimensional. So we wanted the show to open the week to be important. Well, I hear suits are making a comeback. I keep Absolutely, hearing that, but, yeah. but that's that's where you've always been. That's right, where you've right. always excelled. Well, they've never gone away. It's just wearing them differently. So it's not a it's not a uniform anymore. It's it's individuality, how you style it. Those are important things really now to be able to take a suit and use it the way you want. Well, you mentioned this is a little darker side. Yes, Joseph, of yes. So tell me about this dark side. Well, I, I think it's sort of a little bit of a, of a of a play on words because the colors are dark and saturated. You know, people don't expect Joseph Abu to be in black. So we open up with a big group of outfits in black, leather, suede, shirlings, and then we go into saturated colors like papal purple, and then we've got stained glass blue and matter green. So there's a deep mystery to the colors, and then we end on angelic ivory. So we go from evil to good. It's kind of a fun show. Well, tell me about some of the fabrication. You mentioned shearling, and right. uh, shearlings are just spectacular. They're much lighter weight. They aren't heavy. They move with your body. So that's important. Brocade fabrics, velvets for daytime, not just velvets for evening. So using fabric in new shapes that are soft and defining the body, it's a term that I call traced. So it's not tight to the body, it traces the body. So you see the form of the, of the guy, and they're softer in the shoulder, so they're still fluid and sexy, they're not shapeless. So the uber big, uber oversized doesn't really work on guys. The guys are either wearing turtlenecks or some open necks, but very simple. And, they, and we let the clothing do all the work. The fabrics move with the body, so I love that fluidity. Right. Tell me about what, what, what you see the Joseph Boot Man wearing for evening. Well, I think you can break the rules a little bit. There's nothing more beautiful than a classic tuxedo with a bow tie. But we don't send that down the runway. So we'll send down black velvets. Velvet's very important for evening. Brocade fabrics, a beautiful three-piece brocade suit, one of our opening looks. It's really special, but it's perfect for evening, but at the same time, throw it on with a pair of jeans and you can go to a party. Right. And we can't forget about the coats. Coats are you know, a necessary yeah. element for fall well, winter. The show is full of coats, okay. and they're really dramatic because they're close through the body here, and then they flare through the bottom. So we have that sort of, that Edgar Allan Poe moment, you know, that great sort of American Gothic spirit of the show. But they move beautifully when you're doing a runway presentation. Tell me about the accessories that you're putting in. Uh, well, there's a lot of beautiful sterling silver pieces, not overpowering. We did beautiful hats and scarves, beautiful woven bags, just enough not to overpower the show, but to support the show. So accessories, and that makes a man more individual when he uses his accessories. You know what's sexy is about guys? It's all about how they feel comfortable with themselves. It's not about being the gigolo. You know, it's just about being comfortable in your skin and comfortable in your clothes. To me, that's the most appealing guy is the one that makes it look easy. I want the show to be fun. We, you know, you can get critiqued and you get good reviews and bad reviews, but this is really for the audience to see how a designer views his world. 